Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. Melek Riari, the group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NMPCL, has said that President Ashwajibola Metunubu's government has concluded arrangements to fix one of the country's refineries and put it into an optimal level of operation by December. The NMPCL boss made this known on Thursday when he visited the national chairman of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC Senator Abdullah Adamu, at the party secretariat in Abuja for a meeting. It reports that Kiari, who arrived at the secretariat's premises at about 12.30 p.m., was warmly received by Adamu and members of the APC National Working Committee. Kiari was addressed was addressing journalists after the meeting, explained that following the current hike in fuel pump price across the country and the resultant effect of the transport fare, Tunubu is working on some palliative measures to ease the pain of Nigerians. He added that there is an ongoing process of rehabilitation to ensure that one of the four four refineries is ready by the end of 2023. He said, I'm aware that Mr. President has directed some engagement and some palliative will be put in place. I am very sure that this will happen. There is an ongoing process of rehabilitation. One of them will come this year and the second one will come on the, sh- on the stream next year and then the third will follow thereafter. Of course, it is, of course, it is very obvious that we can no longer afford subsidy. Subsidy bills have piled up. The country is not able to settle NMPC for the money we are spending on subsidy. Therefore, pri- pricing this petroleum at the market price is the right thing to do at some point in time, and I believe it will benefit the country for a, in a very long term. Tinubu, while announcing the removal of first subsidy during his inaugural speech on Monday, noted that the Nigerian government would be struggling to fund subsidies. The announcement on first subsidy removal has triggered over 100% hike in fuel pump price across the country, even at the first station managed by the NNPCL. The NNPCL Chief Managing Director in Thursday also said that the country can no longer sustain such an expensive regime, adding that over 38% of the total fuel distributed in Nigeria is consumed by the three states by three states and the Federal Capital Territory. The states are Lagos, Kano, and River State. He said there was subsidy in 2022, but in 2023, not a single naira was provided for the purpose. And ultimately, while we held back our fiscal obligation, we still have a net balance of over 2.8 trillion naira that the Federation should have backed to the NNPC. For any company, when you have a negative 2.8 trillion naira, there is no company in the whole of Africa that will lend you. You cannot have receivables. The provision of subsidy is there, but absolutely there is no funding for it. It means it is only on paper, it does not exist. We can no longer bear it. If we continue, we will run into default and the default of the NNPC is the default of Nigeria. Once NNPC goes into default and liquidity, it affects every borrowing done by the country, even the subnational. Your lenders will come back to you and say your country can no longer pay. Melek Yari, the group managing director of the NNPC, is a Nigerian geologist, crude oil marketer, and the first group chief executive minister, chief executive officer, GCU of the Nigerian Petroleum Company Limited. Before his, this appointment, Kiari was a group general manager 
crude oil marketing division of the NNPC and the Nigerian, Repre Nigerian National Representative for the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, since 2018. Melek was born on the 8th of January 1965 in Meduguri, Bono State. He attended Government Community Secondary School in Biu in Bono State between 1977 and 1982. In 1987, he obtained his bachelor's degree of science in geology and earth science from the University of Meduguri. After the retirement of Makanti Barao from the corporation on 7th of July 2019, Kiari was appointed by the administration of President Muhammadu Bari as the 19th GMD of the National of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation. In 1991, he joined the NNPC Processing Geophysics with Integrated Data Services Limited. In 1991, he started his career with the Department of Geology Survey of Nigeria as field geologist. He worked as the Exploration Geophysicist with the National Petroleum Investment Management Service in 1998. In 2007, Kiari added the Production Sharing Contracts Management in Crude Oil marketing division. In 2014, he became the general manager, crude oil stock management, and in 2015, he was promoted to the post of group general manager, COMD. He is a vocal person for op open government initiative. The initiative helps the government to track the buyer and seller of crude oil. On May 13, 2018, he became the Ni Niger Ni Nigerian national representative at OPEC. He was given the order of the Federal Republic of Nigeria OFR in October 2022 by President Mamadou Buhari. Outstanding Employer of the Year 2022 Award, Kiari was named with the Outstanding Employer of the Year 2022 by the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC, in 2023. Taking Nigerians' Opinion Abdul Ghani Tune said, Please don't give us another pin. Let him do it. No cause for alarm. Let him make it a surprise. Emmanuel Domko said, What happens to the ones Barry paid for in Port Harcourt? Let them just recover their campaign money and stop all these lies. Al Haji Mohammed said, Fix the refinery, then remove the subsidy period. Politicians are taking Nigerians for granted. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news.